guys, me, Hosey Bizarro, thank you very much for tuning in. So, I know we normally do toy news on the channel here on a um, Monday morning, but I'm going to change it up a little bit, and I'm going to be doing toy news as of now on, on a Saturday morning for you. Uh, so, I'll be able to give you the news every day on your weekend, on your day off. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, Monday is always a bit of an iffy day uh, when it comes to uh, YouTube views and stuff like that. So, I thought I'd do this video on a Saturday where more people may get to actually enjoy it and take take advantage of the deals and things that I do put into these videos. Because as you know guys, there's been some cracking deals this last week uh, online that I've been able to point out for you that you might not have been aware of. And I know a lot of people have liked this video in the comments and stuff on previous videos. So definitely it's a series I want to keep going. So I'm thinking Saturday is going to be the best day to keep this kind of video flowing. So without further ado guys, it's been a busy week. We're not going to rattle on about all the Star Wars Hasbro products because why? Everyone knows about them. I want to talk about the stuff, the other stuff that's been released this week that you might not know about. And also, we'll talk about this week's um, offers and sales and where they, where the best ones of those are. And we'll also talk about the, this week's releases and what's shipping, what I've received shipping uh, mail for this week. So, let's get on with the show. So, we know we had all that stuff to do with Star Wars and Hasbro that launched on Thursday night at 8pm. If you didn't know, get yourself on off to uh, either Kapow Toys, Comics and Cocktails, in -demand Toys, all the online good retailers. And they've got access to the latest line of Star Wars products, including the long-awaited Rebels. Now, the Rebels are the ones that have got the new face tech. Um, they're just repaints of the old ones. It's not new sculpts. Everyone thinks it's new sculpts. It's not. It's just repainted faces from the first time round. But they do look a hell of a lot nicer. And, of course, that means we finally got Zeb to finish off the line. Now, the new figures do look good, but they're not good enough for me to want to rebuy the entire line by any means they look nice but i'm happy with my first releases and um, maybe down the line i can grab the second hand or something if if i want to but i'm happy with my first releases they look old now the looks of them look a little bit older but i don't mind uh, i like the figure set and i'm glad to that zeb is finally out it's only taken what from 2017 for the first figure right through to now so it's taken a few years to get this line together so of course they're going to look different but if you want to buy them all together, you can do in a bundle. You can get the whole set of Rebels with all the new faces and stuff. So head on over to all good retailers to find those. Alright, probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen announced ever. It's the new Star Wars Battle Bobblers. These lovely little inventions are... <laughs> Odd. <laughs> He's uh, kid friendly apparently from ages four and up, and it includes sets include Porgs and Chewie, <laughs> Stormtrooper and BB-8, R2D2 and Yoda, cause why? Um, Luke and Vader, and there are a couple of others including uh, Boba Fett and, Ch and C-3PO. Randomly, and my favourite is the line on here that says, battle and bobble. With a spring in the waist and a clip in the base, kids can imagine these Star Wars figures battling all over the place. Place the battle bobbler figure close to one another, shake them to get them bobbling on their springs and watch them battle. You want us to put a battle bobbler on our waist? Cause that's not gonna be awkward. Weird. <laughs> McFarlane's Toys have finally given us a look at their Ultramarine that's coming out very soon. It looks awesome. I'm not sure if I'm digging the red head on the blue body, but meh. You can get a grayscale version, by the way, and paint it yourself just like regular Warhammer, which I think is kind of cool. But you can also get this Necron Warrior that's coming out as well, which also looks very cool. It has a little base to stand it on, so I've got a feeling that might be awkward as hell to stand. Uh, the Ultramarine is shown on a little base as well. Not sure how big these figures are yet, whether they're going to be 7 inch scale or bigger. But they look pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be picking them up uh, just for nostalgic value. I'd played Warhammer back in the day. Well, I tried to get into it. And uh, I played Warhammer back in the day with my cousins and my friends. And yeah, this is definitely going to be something that I'll pick up. Um, hopefully, these will come down in price and I'll be able to build a squad uh, of the Ultramarines. And especially if we can repaint them as well. If you can get the grayscale ones and paint them, that'd be sick. So you could even paint your own colours um, and things like that, just like Warhammer. That'd be pretty cool. What are your thoughts, guys? Are you going to pick up these Warhammer figures? Let us know in the comments. Here's our first glossy look at the Alpha Predator. They released some proper good images of this figure over the last couple of days, and it looks fantastic. I can't wait for this to come out. It looks so good. 
it's just a really cool figure and it's just and i think everyone's going to be pre-ordering this bad boy it's going to be amazing i can't wait for it to come out um necker have been teasing us for a while about this one now this figure this picture was taken from toyark.com so please check that out as well and yeah just this necker product is just so good it's such a cool figure what are your thoughts on it though let us know in the comments below Another thing to announce this week is Neca Ferro Eddie. Eddie, of course, from the Iron Maiden band, and they've usually put Eddie in all sorts of different variations on the front cover of their albums. This is taken from the uh, the Ferro uh, they did a while back, and this is a really cool figure. I'll definitely pick it up, even though it's I know it's Eddie, but the fact that it's a, a, a mummy figure, you don't get many mummy figures in this day and age, and I think customizers will have a lot of fun turning that into the traditional mummy as well. Because uh, you could very easily mod that to look like the original mummy uh, from back in the uh, black and white era. But again, it's a great figure and I'll be picking it up for what it is. It looks so good. So definitely grabbing an Eddie for my collection. Inspector Gadget. Coming soon is Inspector Gadget, the DHX uh, media product. It's from Blitzway Mega Heroes. And these are four figures that are coming out, I believe, uh, sort of next year, maybe. Uh, there's going to be, it's um, the dog and Penny, I forgot the dog's name. The dog and Penny come together, but then you get Inspector Gadget and the, the fourth guy. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Uh, I haven't got the official product information in front of me, but I know these are coming from overseas, and they're going to be a little bit on the expensive side, but that Inspector Gadget comes with so many accessories, so many clip-on add-on bits, it's amazing. And it's going to be available for pre-order, I believe, right now, over at toytrash.co.uk. So please head on over to toytrash.co.uk and grab yourself an Inspector Gadget while you can. Because I think that's going to be a very popular figure. You know, a bit like when, Tom, when, when the Tom and Jerry ones came out? Uh, a few years back, they were um, they were very popular when they came out, and they were only about, I think they were about 40, 50 quid when they came out, and they go on eBay now for stupid money. Um, they were from overseas as well, and this is sort of in the same style, uh, like a, an old cartoon favourite from our past that is coming back, and uh, the fact that you can get an, an, a figure of Inspector Gadget is just so cool. And it comes with all sorts, like the, the Extendo legs, the helicopter hat, it looks amazing. So head on over to toytrash.co.uk, guys, and get your pre-orders in. All right, guys, I found the best deal of the week. So the deal of the week this week is the Stranger Things 4-pack when they're dressed as the Ghostbusters. That normally runs at about £50. I've even seen it on Kapow Toys right now for £62.99. Insane. Right now, you can grab it on bargainmax.co.uk for £44.49. Best part is, I also grabbed myself while I was there an Overwatch Ultimates McCree figure that's a 6 inch figure. Normally runs at £20, they're currently selling him for £19.99. So I know, not mega, uh, sorry, £17.99. Um, so it's £2 off the, the regular price. But when you get to the checkout, use discount code SAVE10, S A V E 10, and you will get £10 off your order, meaning shipping is free, you get both figures. For fifty two forty eight, that is a bargain. That is less than what the actual four pack of Stranger Things is on various websites on the internet right now, and you're getting a McCree thrown in, and the Stranger Things is discounted. So I mean, that is just mwah. as a collector, that's how I do things. You know, you guys always say to me, "How do I afford it?" Then I do. I scour the internet for discount codes. I look for deals. So that's why I'm doing this toy news video each and every Saturday now to give you guys some of the deals that I find on the internet. So you'll be seeing this very thing in my haul video on Tuesday, uh, when you, you will see the Strange Things and the McCree figure, and I'll be reviewing both sets because I'm quite excited for them. I've been wanting that Ghostbusters one for quite some time, and you know what? I've never played Overwatch, but McCree is a cool-looking cyber cowboy with a metal arm. It appeals to me no end, that figure. I can't wait to do some match figure photography with it. So, grab yourself a bargain right now on bargainmax.co.uk. Alright guys, as a part of my offers this week, I want to let all you guys know that on Amazon right now, you can grab the Universal Classics Essential Monster Collection for $11.99 on Blu-ray, and you get all the old classic black and white Universal Monster movies. It's the origin story of each of the monsters, and it comes with a really cool booklet um, box set, which gives you the inside scoop on all the movies, how they're created, and some inside news and gossip, and... And a really cool book about, uh, you know, where else these characters have been featured. So obviously, like, under the Dracula bit that I read, it talked about 
the original Marvel comics, the Tomb of Dracula and things like that, as well as Bela Lugosi moving on to Christopher Lee and, and then so forth, and Gary Oldman. And so it's a very cool, uh, very cool story uh, to go back and look at. Obviously, it's from 1934, so they're all in black and white, but they're all restored in HD quality. So definitely pick that up. Eleven ninety nine for that amount of movies is insane. In that, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine movies for eleven ninety nine on Blu-ray. For me, that's a bargain. What about you guys? I think that's a great thing. I've got the bought the box set myself. I did it as a hop one of my haul videos a while back, but I've been waiting. I've been waiting for it to go back on offer again, and it's finally back on offer. Eleven ninety nine overnight delivery if you're on Prime. So guys, what are your thoughts on this week's toy news? Not a lot happening at the moment. Things are obviously we had the big Star Wars news at the beginning of the day of the week. I don't want to kind of run over that, like I said, said at the beginning, because everyone's already aware of that. There's no real news there, so I just thought I'd leave it. I wanted to get them offers out there because I thought the offers were really good this week, uh, especially on the bargain store. And as well, I thought some of those new McFarlane's toys looked pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully there'll be a lot more news coming out this week, so I'll be able to get ready for next Saturday's Toy News. But until then, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. If you have any toy-related toy questions or queries, leave them down below, and I'll try and find out the best deals or answers for you if I can. And just thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Supersoil, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.